The Course Life Pro Series returns to the Three Mile Oval in Coca-Cola Super Speedway for what is a very important race in the track's history. On the pole, we have Christian Vargas. To his outside is Jay Jefferson. Third is Dorakowski. Fourth is Trey Wright. And running out the top five is Patrick Smith. The rest of the qualifying order is on the left side of the screen. The pace car goes in. We're getting set for 17 laps around Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Here we go. Green flag is out. We're racing. Rakowski's already going to take it three wide for the lead going into turn number one. As we go three wide for... Another lane back in the pack as well. Smith is going to pull to the inside now with help from Wells on that inside line as they go side by side now for the lead. Start to fan out more in the back. And Smith is going to take over in turn number three. Wells is there though. As they careen off of turn number four. It's Patrick Smith with a lap speed of 240 miles an hour. We're approaching 250, going into turn number one. Smith has a good gap over the rest. They're four wide behind them. There they go in the back. That's the 27 around with the 15. And the one is involved as well. Let's see if they make it back clean back here. Looks like it. And now Patrick Smith will lead them to the caution flag on lap number two. Very early incident, but luckily it was just a spin from Zydell, Mills, and Halleck. Although those are some implications to Halleck, he's running 10th in points right on the cut line for the chase. So they're actually technically running 5 wide if we look at it closely here. Or no, the 93 is not above the 38, my bad. It's into the 27, that's gonna spin the 15 and one around. As we take another closer look at it, 93 just below the 27, gets into him, spins him out, collects three other cars as well, although their damage will be very minor, in fact I think they may still have a winning shot at this race. So we'll have to see how the damage is on the three cars that were involved. But I don't think it'll be that bad as that's a car pulling into pit row. That's Kyle Hunter in the 18. So issues on his end. But right now Patrick Smith, the leader As we take you to the restart, Mathis Wells will be second, third in points, Peter on Jack will be third, Delello fourth, and Rakowski fifth. As we look to restart on lap number seven, with 11 to go. Here we go. The pace car going to pull in. The, the, the 7 is a lap down. He did not choose to go to the inside on this restart. And the 18 is out of the race due to the mechanical issue that he had around lap 4. So we're going to try it again at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Back green on lap number 7. They fan out double file in some places. But they don't go any more than that. 
No three wide yet. As right now they stay single file within the front three. Now on Jack is going to make a move to the inside on Mathis Wells, trying to break these two up, just in case they might be a duo working together. But he had no help on that inside line. He's going to fall back, possibly get passed by Rokowski if he gets a run on the outside. But now Onjak has help from his teammate, Carter Friesen. But it looks like he's going to go behind the 36 to try and catch the draft off of him. He's right now the inside lane, not very orderly. If anyone's going to make a move for the lead, it's going to be the 36 of Wells. Because I just don't see anyone behind making a bonsai move on him. Onjak is going to try again for second. But to no avail, it looks like. Maybe. I guess the 36 up the racetrack, and he will take second away that time. Now he's just got to run down Smith to try and go two in a row and win the Coke 600 and win the race at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. Now the 16 is going to pull on under him. As the two is going to go ahead and help. No, he's going to pull in three wide. As now Wells looking to pass the 17. He's nearly on the quarter panel. So luckily he didn't turn him around. But now the two is going to go to the inside of Wells. Possibly try and take third away now. As we've got just eight laps to go. Onjak tried to pass that time. Let's see if he can do it here. Now the 36 is going to go down low. But the 17 stays behind the 78. So they've got a strong draft working there. As who will be the first to pull out? Will be Ray. There's just seven laps to go. Here he goes for the lead. On Jack. Down low. And the 36 makes an insane move between the 17 and the 55. And that's going to pay off for him because he's going to go to the lead. Can Ray make it three wide? It looks like he's going to. There he is. As they go down the backstretch, three wide for the lead. On Jack's going to go on the outside and clear them both. Oh, not quite. He couldn't clear the 36 that time. As now he's stuck on the outside. Rob Evans is now next in line. The 13 might go ahead and pass him, though. The 43 looking three wide in front of him. But their resorts back to double files. They're pinching. On the outside lane there, that was very close, but it's Rob Evans, Pocono winner, trying to go to the inside. And he takes the lead away. I think that was a car on the wall back there. It might have been on Jack. As now Delello is next on the inside, but Evans has a good gap over the rest of the pack. But is it too big of a gap? As now the 33... Looking to the inside for second. But the low is going to clear. Running that lane right behind. Yep, there's the yellow. And there's a big wreck. Yepes. Shepard. They're all stuck on the apron. And will this be the end or will we have a late race restart with Rob Evans against Delello, Vargas, Barlow? Or Legacy, or can anyone else pull it off? We'll have to see how big the wreck was, as Shawwall was also involved in that. And they were running back behind here. So 
I believe it'd be up here. Oh, they get into each other, and there goes the 48 to the inside. And it looks like they just get on the apron, and that's going to flip the 9 and the 99 over, and the 9 goes up in the air and rolls down on the banking. Lands on all four wheels, but the 99 went upside down as well. As they just shifted over on the banking there. That wasn't the main wreck. There was a few people who went around. I think that was a 10 of syrup. Oh no, it was the 34. So Trey Wright hits that wall. The rear end first. Let's just see it from his point of view on the camera. Gets spun, does nearly a full 360, but then gets T-boned by the 88, whatever a minion. That's a bad wreck for him, but well, these guys are going to pile in, and Yepes flips over, does a backwards 360, and lands on all fours. And Orman got a piece of that. So that's now three flips and one wreck. And was that the 48 who might have caused that too? I'm not sure. It might have just been people getting on the apron, not being able to control their cars. Yeah, they, they all slide up. It was the 21 into the 6, but I don't think that's going to be an accident. It might be. No, they save it somehow. Wow. Let's, let's see this right here. I really don't know how they didn't wreck there. But then let's see Fitzwater's wreck one more time from this camera angle. Is he's going to be rolling towards the camera, or not, he's just going to pass him. And here it is from afar. There, just gets under him on the apron. And he nearly goes above the height of the catch fence. So a rough roll for Fitzwater Sr. in the 9. If he gets hit by Code Luigi, that's what sent him flying so high. So don't want to do the same thing I did at Charlotte. But if we do go green, it will be a one-lap shootout. With Rob Evans in front, DeLello second, Barlow third, Legacy fourth, and Fink fifth. The lights are out. We'll be going green for a one-lap shootout. Who will it be? There's a lot of people out of the race. I don't know why the 21 was out. He did not crash. We'll have to see later, as we've got a good finish in the works. Let's see how this will play out. I think Evans might have it now, as he got a huge jump on that restart. Legacy's going to try and pull down low. That's for second. As we're getting closer to the crunch time, so every spot counts now. As Evans comes off of turn number four, he will be the victor at Coca-Cola Super Speedway with no contest on the final lap. So that's Rob Evans' second win of the season. 
Delilo comes up just short. As he was trying to make a charge at the end. Maybe one more lap he would have gotten it. That was a pretty big wreck that the safety crew had to clean up. So Rob Evans first, second Zachary Delillo, third Al Lagasse, fourth Eli Bright, and fifth Rakowski. Sixth Gary Barlow, seventh Mathis Wells, eighth Tyler Fink, ninth Johnny Gardner, and tenth Patrick Smith. Rush to the finishing order. So we were going to look at Adam McDowell's trouble. There were 32 cars in the race, 29 on the lead lap, but Luigi was the last of them. So let's, let's see. We did have damage. Maybe they stacked up here? Oh, they did. Oh, there was a big stack up behind. As there's the six not getting slowed up in time, that spun the six, or the, yeah, spun him out. 21 got sideways, but he got the worst of it. And the six nearly flips on the apron and he gets stuck as well as Sira they're all stuck on the apron so that really is a shame for some of these guys who are having an okay day and if not they could have just they could have finished and hope for more and they end up getting stuck and some of these guys just wanted to get back up on the racetrack and they couldn't because you've got to be going a certain speed to get to be safe on this apron. And that transition just didn't favor them, I guess. So that's it for race number 13. So I'm going to do a quick check here. There's just four races until the chase. So. These drivers are going to get their A game on. As the races remaining are Chicagoland. That should be fun. It wasn't last season. Trust me. Uh, the all-star race. But that doesn't count. That's a non-points race. And it's at Orlando once again. Really looking forward to that. Uh, Texas, Daytona, and Hattiesburg remain. Then it'll be Michigan, Indy, Charlotte, Talladega, Kansas, Auto Club, and Homestead. The final seven races. Top ten in points get in. No wild card. And it'll be the one point per position format. With the exception of first who gets... 50 points instead of 42, I believe. And the driver who will be in a good spot, I believe, would be Rob Evans. If not, it will be a good jump for him to try and get up there. Evans is 25th. But he'll definitely jump up more. There's win here today. So let's go to victory lane with him. For his win at Coca-Cola.
Thank you for watching the Corsair Pro Series. We'll see you next time.